a series of events are being held as part of the Policy for Recovery in Africa series, organized by the Africa Program of Chatham House in partnership with the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, aiming to bring together expert speakers and decision makers to provide careful analysis and discuss potential solutions and policy options as African countries confront the shocks of COVID-19 pandemic. The simple truth is that African governments, institutions, regional bodies, and Africans need to make huge progress in order to meet the global sustainable development goals and the African Union Agenda 2063. So fruitful conversations and discussions of post-COVID recovery strategies and policies in Africa must relate to five key challenges. According to the Africa Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the continent has received over 137 million COVID-19 vaccine doses with supplies coming from COVAX Global Vaccine Sharing Scheme, bilateral donations, and recently the African Union. With the Africa Continental Free Trade Agreement, uh, the African Union has endeavored to address Africa's unsustainable position in global trade in order to stimulate growth, economic diversification and jobs for its growing population. This free trade agreement is the continent's tool to address the disparity between Africa's growing economic significance and its peripheral place in the global trade system to hopefully build a bridge between present fragmentation and future prosperity. It is an ambitious, comprehensive agreement covering trade in goods, services, investment, intellectual property rights, and competition policy. As African countries strategize and coordinate on economic integration and recovery from the pandemic, it is important to take stock of ways in which the socioeconomic consequences of the pandemic diverge and converge across the continent's many heterogeneous economies. Many countries are facing escalating debt while still struggling to inject much needed cash into their economies. Inflation is soaring in many places, pushing up food prices and putting up to 40 million people into extreme poverty. African countries will have to rely on capital markets, which account for 40% of the region's external debt, financing gap that stunted Africa's development even prior to the crisis, and which may now become a serious threat to its post-COVID-19 economic recovery. COVID-19 has contributed to pushing the debt to unsustainable levels. African countries spend roughly a quarter of their budgetary revenues to pay for their debt service, with significant opportunity costs on health and welfare spending. The pandemic showed the risks of continued reliance on foreign donors for resources such as vaccines. But the collective response demonstrated that the African Union is becoming a stronger institution capable of addressing regional and global challenges. Health ministers from across Africa convened in early 2020 to establish a unified strategy for combating the pandemic. The plan focused on three pillars, preventing severe acute uh, respiratory syndrome, transmission, averting deaths, and avoiding social and economic harm. However, the economic impacts of COVID-19 have weakened many states' ability to deliver not just healthcare, 
but also security and other basic services, in particular in refugee and displaced camps and other peripheral areas, including in border regions. 